Hello, this is Doug Caldwell with the University of Florida IFAS, Collier County Extension Service. And this is Stephen Brown, Lee County Extension Service. Hey, Doug, why are we here today? We're on a mission, aren't we? Stephen, it's a sad sight here. And unfortunately, this was a thick, full, lush ficus hedge, a privacy hedge. And now what do we have? So uh, basically what I'm looking at, Doug, is exposed tissue. Look at all the fallen leaves. What are the symptoms of this ficus whitefly damage? Yes, this is a result of a new pest in town called the ficus whitefly. It's a sucking insect. And unlike other whiteflies, when it attacks, it's releasing some chemicals as it's feeding it, and the leaves just go, whoa, and, and they drop off. That, that's just incredible. Yeah, that, that's a horrible situation. It's so bad that we can actually see the neighbors in their pool bathing. Well, they're certainly losing their visual privacy as well as road sound noise privacy. So this was a bulletproof plant species, and now we have new pests. It's not just ficus whitefly, but there's some others we can talk about later. But if you're going to protect your plants, you have to be proactive and use some sort of soil treatment, a systemic soil drench ahead of time. Because now, as you were showing me, look at this. you got snap, crackle, pop. The leaves drop see. off, the twigs are dry and brittle. That tissue's not growing back. Yeah, I can hear the snap, the crackle, and the pop here. Not good. Hey, let's take a look at some leaves and see what kind of symptoms we can see. Yeah, so people know what to look for. All right, let's do that. All right. But what's really of concern, first you'll notice a mottling color like a citrus leaf. Yeah, it looks like a micronutrient deficiency yeah, it sure does. symptom. That's, it sure does, yeah. So then what you want to do is flip it over, and here's the giveaway. This is a telltale sign when you can see those little white flecks on there. These little white dots right here. What, what, what are those exactly anyway? Well, this insect, white flies, as adults will fly around like little white moths, but the immature stages are like scale insects. They don't have wings, they don't have legs, they're stuck on there, sucking the sap and releasing these chemicals into the plant to cause the leaves to drop off. So when they molt, they leave behind these pebbly-like skins or exoskeletons. Let's go to another site and see what we see because this may be a good example, but we want to see something else. It won't be hard to find. All right. Okay, while Doug and I are searching for a homeowner's damaged ficus hedge, I want you to take a look at what a good ficus privacy hedge should look like. Here it is behind me. spotted a hedge. It doesn't look good. Ficus whitefly damage. I can tell it a mile off. You got a keen eye there, Stephen. That's surely what it is. I used to be in a Boy Scout. <laughs> it's severely defoliated. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go speak to the homeowner and uh, see what he says, and he's gonna give us a story. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Stephen Brown. Wait for a minute. Doug Caldwell. Hey, Doug. Nice to meet you. Hey, we're from the Extension Service, and we, we noticed your hedge is in bad shape. You mind going over and taking a look at it? No, not at all. All right, let's go. Thanks a lot. Why, why did you cut back the hedge? Because I'm taking a look at the hedge now, and I see some severe cut. What happened there? Well, I cut them back because they were very sparse in between the, the top part and where I cut it down to here. And in between there, it was very young. Um, you know, it was very sparse in leaves, so I figured I'll cut it down and it would start filling in. Now, it was my understanding, or I just thought, and I talked to my son about it, that the reason why this happened was because of the lack of, we had a really dry couple months there. Yeah, I know a lot of people are under that yeah. misconception, yeah. but the real answer well, is, it's... it's I fell just, for it. I yeah. didn't believe it, but I fell for it, because I'd never seen anything go that bad. So, what you want to look for are these little white speckly things on the mm -hmm. back of the leaf, and that's caused by... The white fly as it goes through its different developmental stages. So the good news is if you scratch these twigs are still green under under there. So you know that cambium's alive and, and they'll sprout back. The hedge we were just looking at, you could take the branches and it was just snap, crack, Smear. and pop. Everything was all dried up, but it's not gonna grow back. 
But if you get an insecticide soil drench on, on this hedge, you can probably bring it back and to its full glory that it used This to is be. not a fly-by-night pest. It's going to be with us forever. So I gotta, I gotta have to treat it, is what you're saying? Yeah. Once a year, twice a year? Uh, once a year would be good if you use the right product at the right dose. Okay. So that's a nice thing. Okay. It lasts a long time. But it's a soil drench as a liquid or else a granular okay. formulation, which might be a, a little bit easier. Right. And uh, that information's here in the fact sheet, or you can go online and, and get some more information or send me an email at uh, dougbug at ufl.edu. Dougbug. <laughs> That's his real name, by the way. <laughs> and this insect's active all year round. Now, the cold's probably slowed it down a little bit, but it's not like it's just active for a couple months. It's Once we're in full season, it's it's multiplying month after month after month. Now, is this something I have to receive through you, this treatment, or is this no. something I can get it? You can get it to the box stores, or you can call professionals and get two or three estimates. If you, you guys are the first ones that came around and didn't cost me $5,000. That's our job. We make it nice and easy. <laughs> we are purveyors of information. So this is your fact. Okay. Okay, we're going to be taking off your name again, sir. Michael Romano. And uh, Stephen Brown, Lee County. Nice Doug Caldwell, you. Collier County. And you know what? It's always great working with uh, people such as yourself. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Usually I don't get that return from anybody. <laughs>